Hey everybody, welcome back to On the Road to Dr. Effin. I'm Javeda Bay, soon to be Dr. Effin, and this is my web series where I take you along on my journey of being a black woman getting a PhD. And my fall semester is finally done. Um, and I'm feeling good. Like, oh God, does it feel great to be done and be on break. Um, but so I figured I would like let you know how I felt about it ending and like what went well and all that stuff. So, um, let's get into that. If you don't know, this semester I took two classes, um, sex, gender, and reproductive rights, and then methods one. So um, sex, gender, and reproductive rights was a policy-based class, essentially. And methods one was my first like real methods class for like conducting research. Um, I was not that thrilled about this semester. I was like really nervous. I was like, oh, this is going to go so terribly. Like, uh, policy, uh, research. Spoiler alert. I don't know what past me was talking about because y'all this semester was phenomenal like I was in my bag like I was in academic heaven um I discovered a lot about myself this semester the first thing being I like policy like I love policy which is like honestly not a shocker considering that I am originally from the DC area like I grew up in like the legalese world essentially like adjacently based on location alone so like you know it kind of makes sense but like i really didn't think i would and i do um and then i also learned that, like mama's got a knack for research like what spss <laughs> got it um designing research surveys love it like i was not expecting it especially because this research class was focused on like quantitative methods and i was like oh i'm gonna be a qualitative girl like i would ne Ugh, quantitative numbers i could never I like it. I like it a lot. Um, I like it so much that I gave myself like I for next semester, like I was like, can I do another like research project as a part of this class? Um, and like craft my own survey. And my professor was like, yeah, if you want to do that. So I yeah, I like it. I like it a lot, um, which was really, really, really astonishing to learn. But also like, isn't that what a PhD program truly is? Like you're just like learning more about yourself while learning about like a specific like area of focus. But like, it's really a journey of like self discovery and like really pushing you to your limits to see if you'll break. Um, but this semester did not break me and I got I just learned so much about myself that I'm just like, wow, I feel really good. Like I'm feeling really good going into like the next semester, but also like soon going into dissertation like this semester like got me feeling like, oh, yeah, no, you can do this like you got this. Um, so yeah, that is that. Um, and if you remember from at the beginning of the semester, I set some goals as I always do because who am I if not like a really ambitious goal setter. Um, and so there were really three goals for this semester. The first one being um, that I would <laughs> I would write three draft um, like journal article papers um, over fall semester and then spring semester I would like edit them to be submittable. I don't know where in my right mind I thought that I was going to be writing three different journal articles um, but that did not happen. I did not make that goal. Not one bit like not even close. Um, so there was that. But then I had another goal and that was to um, submit and present to two um, academic conferences and <laughs> we're halfway there in the sense that I did submit and get accepted to two different conferences I got accepted to the SPSP um, sexuality pre-conference that's happening in February and then I got accepted to the PCA conference that's happening in April and so I am feeling a real 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 good about that um, especially because I was really wanting to submit to PCA I was like oh, I really want to do this like I gotta make it happen let's fingers crossed that I get accepted and I got accepted um so I'm feeling really good about it I'm very excited for both of those um so that goal is essentially done all that's left is like actually presented them so yay um and then the last goal was to uh do four different like guest lectures or workshops on a college campus and I did that goal and I was very excited because this semester I actually went I taught at two new institutions so um I did a guest lecture at Seattle University thanks Sally um and it was amazing it was so much fun also it was like got me up to Seattle which was really nice um but it was an in-person guest lecture and I love being actually in the classroom so that was really amazing and then the other one was at the University of Missouri 
Missouri University, however you say it, um, which was also really exciting because like I have not, I have no connections to the, like the Midwest. So like that was also really cool. Um, just like a great group of students. So I had a really great time with that. So also like crossed off my four guest lectures. And one of those actually was a complete challenge for me because I did a guest lecture for a one of the classes I was TAing this semester, which was within my program. It's the sexual function and practices class. Essentially it's like anatomy for sex educators. Um, and so I did a guest lecture on like contraception, barrier methods and abortions. And it was a challenge because I'm used to guest lecturing for undergraduate courses. So like, like the depth that you go into is not that far because like you gotta have the base knowledge before you can like really dive deep. Um, but this was a PhD level course. So like it had to go a lot deeper. And I was like, oh wow, I'm not, I've never had to prep to go deeper like that. Um, so it was a challenge, but a very, very fun and welcoming challenge. So the moral of the story here is, Fall semester went freaking great. I feel good and I'm very pumped for spring semester. Um, so if you want to get all the details about that, you know you need to subscribe to this YouTube channel and you should probably be following me on all social media platforms. Like, why are you not doing that already? Like, I make great content. And 2023 is about to be my year of content, baby. Like, get ready. Um, so yeah, make sure you're doing that. Follow along and have a great holiday season. This is the last bit of content for 2022. Mama's taking a break, but um, I'll be back in 2023 with all new content across all the platforms and you don't want to miss it. Um, but until then, I'm gonna see you later. Deuces.